20 years ago, the, the forest was so dense. During those days, rain used to come at the light time, but nowadays, very short rain. When we plant, the cloves does not grow. Mary Niambura is walking through the Abadari Mountains about 100 kilometers from Nairobi. The retired elementary school teacher now has to walk about five kilometers to find trees like the Prunus africana, which is now on the endangered species list. People in the region where it grows clear it to create fields and for firewood. Mary collects seedlings in one of the few forested areas. She plants them in her own small nursery. She gets support from the Green Belt Movement. The Kenyan environmental organization says one of its aims is to reforest the area with trees like the Prunus africana. Prunus africana is reputed to be the miracle tree for natural healing. Its bark can be used to make medicines for many illnesses, but primarily for prostate cancer. Working on a species which is used in the treatment of cancer is of my interest. I lost my sister from breast cancer. I also lost my mom from uterine cancer. That's why I got an interest with uh, cancer. Dorothy Nayami studies biochemistry in the Kenyan capital, Nairobi. For her master's thesis, she's studying the bark of Prunus africana, investigating the uses of its components for treating cancer. More than half of all men over 60 have prostate trouble. It's taken 17 years for trees at this test plantation to get this tall. Dorothy and her colleagues are taking bark samples for their experiments. Her research helps not only medicine, but also the people in the countryside. When we have uh, more of the trees being domesticated, since the, the bark is of high value, we can uh, advocate for farmers to export it because it has a uh, I uh, uh, already market in the Europe for production of the above drugs. After six months in the nursery, Mary's Prunus africana trees are big enough for planting. Together with people from the surrounding villages, Mary wants to turn this meadow back into a forest. My wish and my hope is to see this forest as big as it was 20 years ago. Some time will pass before the forest grows back. Mary Nyambura likely won't live to see the day, but she and the villagers will keep up their work nevertheless.